So the competition was basically the CrossFit Games for adaptive athletes. They call it Wheel Wad, which is kind of cool. So it was to find the fittest, differently abled athlete in the world. And I got second. So, and get this, I could have probably actually birthed half the kids that I was competing against. And so it was amazing, but it was really cool to be out there seeing people in wheelchairs, amputees, either up or lower. It was so cool. Wow, that's an incredible accomplishment. I almost feel like it's not fair to the other competitors, though, just because of, we all know what you have accomplished athletically. Um, you know, you, you're just a special breed. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, I definitely. it's so funny, right? Because, like, I remember one, one of the workouts, I looked at my spotter. I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And then they went three, two, one. And I'm like, <laughs> so it's so funny how like all of a sudden that competitor comes back. It's just this fire that you have. I love it. How important is that to be able to participate and to do things athletically, uh, you know, just like you did in the past, you know, before accident and everything. How important is that? It's huge for me. It's huge. And it gave me my life back. And you know, for a while there, after my accident, I wasn't working out. I was, you know, gaining weight. I didn't feel like myself. And then there was a guy who was injured doing a CrossFit competition whose name is Kevin Ogar. And he came to the hospital room and said, listen, we're working on something so you can get back into CrossFit. Hang with me. And he is actually the guy that got me back into CrossFit last summer. Um, and he is one of the guys that started Wheelwad. Um, and now I work out all the time here in Phoenix at CrossFit Blade and the community has really rallied around me and made me feel like an athlete again. And what's really cool is, you know, they say CrossFit is functional fitness. So now I can get into a car. If I get an Amazon package, which happens a lot, uh, I can actually pick it up and put it on my own lap, which is huge because I don't have abs or back muscles. So it really has given me my life back. It's so important in my life right now. How often are you hitting up the CrossFit gym? And like, how much time have you put into this training? Oh, I don't even want to tell you. When I say it's my second home, like, I seriously mean it. Like, it's so embarrassing. I am there six days a week for two to four hours every single time I go in there. So I am getting after it. But here's the thing that I say. Ideas never work unless you do. So I better get my booty going. And listen, I'm not used to getting second place. That whole second place thing, girlfriend's not used to. We got to step that up. Yeah. So are you going, is it now, is this a yearly thing? It is. It's a yearly thing, but it's going to change this year. So we're going to have it again in six months. So I will be ready. Are you, okay. So in six months, are you going out to win the, the wheel WOD is are you, not second place, first place this time? Um, listen, yeah, I don't, I, girlfriend doesn't play to get second. Girlfriend plays to win. Have you seen my collection of Olympic gold medals? There's no silver. I'm just saying. 